It's not just gas. Groceries are up as well. We're seeing the largest increase in prices since 1979. Yeah, yeah it's pretty expensive out there. CBS 17's Mariah Ellis is live tonight to show us how some stores are trying to cut costs to help customers out. Mariah? You know, putting food on the table has become so difficult for some families and filling up those grocery carts. Well, some of us might be filling them up just a little less to save some money. Families tell me that searching for those prices is so important. These days, smart shopping is a must. You know, I'm not making any more money. <laughs> It's, it can be tough. Like everyone else, Sarah James is doing her best to deal with the high cost of everything. I know it's hitting people. I think transportation costs is probably the biggest issue from my understanding. Groceries cost more than 12% more now than a year ago. I mean, I don't care how much you're making or what size your family is. It's an issue for everybody, and, and we get that. Tony Price, who works at Weaver Street Market in downtown Raleigh, says they know food costs more, so they do what they can to help people out, including putting some items on sale. Obviously, this time of year, produce is definitely at the probably at the top of that list and squash and melons and uh, peaches I think we have a sale this weekend on peaches at $1.99 a pound he says they're able to cut the cost they pass along to consumers by buying local I don't know any of them that doesn't appreciate a good value when they can find it now, we did go to several grocery stores to just compare some of those prices, and we found out that those prices kind of fluctuated from store to store. So we would recommend, before you go shopping, make sure that you're doing your research ahead of time. Reporting in Raleigh, Mariah Ellis, CBS 17 News. Mariah, thank you.